Okay, so let's let's talk about adding and subtracting rational expressions with like denominators. So let's kind of review something you had a while back, a long time ago, and that's these. So we're gonna look we're gonna look at adding fractions, subtracting fractions with like denominators. So for example, uh, three fifths plus four fifths. Why why is that one? Why is adding these two fractions so easy for us? Because the number is the same. So you, your partitions are, are equivalent. So you have three fifths plus four fifths. Altogether, how many fifths do you have? Seven. seven. So that becomes seven fifths. So basically you learn that when, you, when you're adding subtracting fractions and the denominators are the same, you just got to add or subtract the numerators. And, but don't forget, you, you need to write it with that partition, which in this case is, is 5. Same thing with subtraction. So when you subtracted, and you got 3 eighths minus 5 eighths, so you're subtracting 5 eighths from 3 eighths, so what do you end up with? A negative 2 eighths, right? Which reduced, which reduced is what fraction? Negative one fourth. Okay, now though, we're going to deal with fractions that involve variables. So, for example, we're going to look at an easy one to begin with, number three. Suppose I had this rational expression, one divided by x plus two, knows the denominator is x plus two. It's a variable expression. And I'm adding. To this rational expression, I'm adding this rational expression, and I want to try to, to condense this. I want to try and see if I can add these two rational expressions, and when I add or subtract, I want to end up with just one rational expression, just like here. See, I added two fractions, I ended up with one fraction. Subtracted two fractions, I end up with one fraction. Same thing here, I'm adding two rational expressions. I want it just one rational expression. And that's the idea. You want to go from, if you had more than two, let's say you had three or four or five, you're going to add the, all of them, and you're going to get one rational expression. This is not that difficult, because what do you notice about the denominators of those two rational expressions? They're the same. Now, remember, though, when we did these two, <clears throat> your answer is going to have that same denominator, that same partition. So these were 5, this is 5, these are 8, this is 8, right? So when I rewrite this into one fraction, into one rational expression, what's going to be this denominator we're going to write down here? X plus 2. And all I do is add the numerators together. What's 1 plus 5? 6. So there's your answer. So this is 6 divided by X plus 2. So I have one x plus two, one divided, one partition of x plus two, and I have five partitions of x plus two. Altogether, how many x plus twos do I have at partitions? Six of them. So six divided by x plus two. Number four. You have two x plus five divided by three x minus one. So you have this rational expression. You are subtracting this rational expression, uh, x divided by 3x minus 1. Still not a bad one, except this time you're subtracting. You're subtracting this time instead of adding. But I can, I can still write this as one fraction very easily because you notice the denominators are the same, right? So my final answer is going to have in my denominator 3x minus 1. I just got to deal with the numerator. Now be careful, how many terms are in that first numerator that you see? Terms? Two. How many terms are in that second numerator? One. So in your mind, you're really saying this, I'm about to write, you're really saying this. You're saying, my, when, when, when I write this as one, you're saying that is 2x plus 5, and then subtract what? x. Over the denominator, which is? 3x minus 1. Now, what 
are you going to, what do you think you're going to do with, with this numerator? What's the next approach? Like Not subtract like terms, you mean add like, do you, uh, let me rephrase it. You mean combine like terms, right? That's the phrase, combine like terms. So 2x minus x is what? x. All right, so, so you combine like terms. So 2x minus x is x. So that's going to be x, and then what's left over? Plus 5. So there's your answer. Okay? Now, look at number 5. Number 5, you have 6 divided by 5x plus 3 minus 8 minus 2x divided by 5x plus 3. <clears throat> okay, now, notice that in number four, you, you always, first of all, you, you always have to be careful when you subtract. Adding is the easy kind. Subtraction, you have to be a little bit more careful with, with how, you, how you write your expressions. So we look at number four, when I did number four, number four is not going to be a problem for us because I was subtracting, and how many terms were in that numerator? Just one. So that was an issue. So how I wrote it? I just subtracted that term, right? Whereas over here, i got to be a little bit careful, so watch what's going to happen. So I know that, that my denominator is going to be what? 5x plus 3. All right, now, um, I have, and we deal with the numerator, so we subtract the numerator. So I get 6, subtract, right? Here's what you're going to do, though. You're going to, some of you are going to do this, and then after the next minute, you're going to know what to do from now on. But if we didn't have the discussion, some of you would have done this. You would have said 6 minus 8 minus 2x, just like this. That's what you would have done. And then you would have combined like terms, and you would have said that's going to be a negative 2 minus 2x, right? That's incorrect. That's not true. This right here is not this. Because look at what you're subtracting over here. Over here, I was subtracting what? X. I was subtracting my numerator. How many things were in that numerator? One. One, one term. Here, I'm subtracting my numerator. How many terms are in that numerator? Two. So listen, I'm subtracting an 8, and I'm subtracting a what? Negative, negative 2x. I'm subtracting a positive 8, and I'm subtracting a negative 2x, right? That's not what this says. This says 6, subtract 8, subtract 2x. I have got to put this in parentheses. you got to remember to put that in parentheses. Whenever you have, whenever you're subtracting a rational expression and the numerator is more than one term, put that in parentheses. You need parentheses, otherwise you're going to get a wrong answer. Now when I subtract when, when I subtract these or when I distribute the negative one, get rid of the parentheses, I get this now. Six, and then tell me what this becomes. Get rid of the parentheses. What does that become? Negative eight. Minus eight, and then what else? Positive three. Plus two x. Plus two x. A negative one times eight is a negative eight. A negative one times a negative two x is a positive two x. You see, you would have, without the parentheses, you would have said that was 6 minus 8 minus 2x, but you know it's not 6 minus 8 minus 2x. You know it's 6 minus 8 what? Plus 2x. So you understand that when you subtract a rational expression and that numerator has more than one term, you need parentheses. You need parentheses. And then you distribute to get rid of the parentheses, and you get this. Your denominator is still 5x plus 3, but what does the numerator become now? Let's put the, let's put the variable uh, term first. What does that become? 2x minus 2 divided by 5x plus 3. All right, now that's where we're at. So now the new thing was for you to remember this. Whenever you're subtracting, <clears throat> whenever you're subtracting a rational expression, 
and that numerator has more than one term, you need to put that in parentheses. Okay, now remember the, the section, the previous section where we were simplifying rational expressions? So in simplifying rational expressions, what was the first step? Factor. All right, so when I did number three, when I did number three, and I got this right here, you were supposed to check and see if you can reduce this. Can I reduce this, this answer right here that, that I said is the answer? No. Don't say I can reduce the two and the three. That's not true. Because remember, you can only reduce factors. Two is not a factor because of that addition symbol. Okay? Can I reduce this? No. All right, I'm going to ask you this, though. Now, remember, when we reduced, though, when we simplified rational expressions, the first thing we had to do was what? Factor. I come over here. Before, before I, I box off my answer, I need to ask myself, can I factor anything to see if I can reduce? Yes, I can factor this numerator. Can I factor the denominator? No. no. But I can factor the numerator. When I do that, I get what? 2 times x minus 1 over 5x plus 3. But it didn't help me. Why didn't that help me? Why didn't factoring here help me? Although it was something I needed to do. Because I can't reduce. There are no common factors. Okay? All right, so you just give your answer like this. Remember, you need a factor, though. But since I didn't have any common factors, I could have also just left it like this. Okay? Number six. Okay, so number six, let's suppose this time I have this. 3x squared minus 8x minus 3 divided by um, x minus 1 times x minus 3. And I'm subtracting, so it's another subtraction. Now this is the one where I kind of messed up the terms so they didn't work out the way I wanted to, but I think I have it correct now. So I think it's going to be this, x squared minus 7x plus 12 divided by x minus 1 times x minus 3. Right, so write that one down. So I'm subtracting two rational expressions. This is the easy kind for the most part because what do you notice about the denominators? They're, they're the same denominator. So at this point, can I write it as in, into one rational expression? Mm -hmm. Can I go from 2 to 1? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. All right. So my denominator would have x minus 1 times x minus 3. Now let's talk about the numerator. So the first numerator is this, this uh, trinomial. Just rewrite it. 3x squared minus 8x minus 3. Now be careful. This is subtraction. So... So I, can't, I cannot just say subtract and then just write all these three terms. What else do I need? Parentheses. So I'm going to subtract each of those terms. So x squared minus 7x plus 12. All right. So I inserted parentheses. What's the next step? No, no, no. What's the next step? Get rid of the parentheses. So I have to distribute here. So I get 3x squared minus 8x minus 3. And then what else? Minus x squared plus 7x. And then what? Minus 12. Because a negative 1 times x squared is a negative x squared. Negative 1 times negative 7x is a positive 7x. And a negative 1 times a positive 12 is a negative 12 all over x minus 1, x minus 3. Okay, what's the next step? Combine like terms. Combine like terms. What's 3x squared minus x squared? 2x squared? No. What is a negative 8x and a positive 7x? Negative x. Negative x. What is a negative 3 and a negative 12? Negative 15? 
all divided by x minus 1 times x minus 3. So that's where I'm at now, okay? Now remember, two sections ago, you had to simplify these rational expressions. To simplify these rational expressions, what did you have to do first? Factor. Well, the denominator is already factored, isn't it? Your factors are x minus 1, and the other one is x minus 3. But the numerator is not, so you've got to factor the numerator if you can. So let's see what we get. So 2x and x and 15, uh, let's try 5 and 3. And let's put the 5 with the 2x and the 3 with the x. The last sign's negative, so, so that means these signs in here are going to be different. And the 1 that is going to be negative will be the, the 3. And this will be plus. Okay, now check it. Before you go and check it, what's the outer? Negative 6x. What's the inner? Positive 5x. When you add them up, what do you get? Negative x. And let's check the last. A positive 5 times a negative 3 is a negative 15. All divided by x minus 1 times x minus 3. Now what do you know she can do? Reduce the x minus 3's, factor out the x minus 3's, and then what's the answer? 2x plus 5 divided by x minus 1. Okay? So, so everything you've done in the previous two lessons also applies here. Okay, let's look at number 7. Number 7. Okay, so number 7, suppose you had this. You had um, x squared plus 3x minus 2 divided by x squared plus 3x minus 10. And you're adding to this rational expression, you're adding 4x plus 12 divided by x squared plus 3x minus 10. All right. Notice, though, you're adding this time, so that's the easy kind. <coughs> what do you say about the, num about the denominators? They're the same, so I can write this as one fraction right now. So in other words, I can write this as with the denominator of x squared plus 3x minus 10. And just like the other problems, I'm going to write my numerator. So I'm going to say x squared plus 3x minus 2 plus, now I'm going to ask you this, do I need parentheses? Do I need to put, do I need to say plus this numerator parentheses? No. no. Only if it was doing what? Subtracting. So I can just rewrite it like this. Okay? Now what's the next step? Combine like terms. So when I combine like terms, I get x squared plus 7x and then what's a negative 2 and a positive 12? 10. All divided by x squared plus 3x minus 10. So that's where I'm at. Now remember, you want, to, you want to simplify these rational expressions if you can. So I did add them. I did add them. But I need to see if I can go further in terms of simplifying. So what does I've got to do? Factor. So look at the numerator. And let's try and factor the numerator. So uh, it will be x plus 5, x plus 2. That's the one that works. That's the easy kind right there. Because the outer is 2x, the inner is 5x. When you add them up, you get 7x. And then 5 times 2 is 10. What about the denominator? How can you factor that? x plus 5 and what else? x minus 2. Good. And then, can I reduce? Yeah, what factors can I divide out? X plus 5. Make sure you put 1's in their place. So what's the answer? X plus 2 over X minus 2. All right. 
Okay, let's do one more, number eight. So number eight, let's suppose you had 4x squared minus x divided by 4x squared plus 7x minus 2. And you're subtracting 3x squared plus 6x divided by 4x squared plus 7x minus 2. Yes, 3x squared plus 6x. All right, what's the next step? I can 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 I write this as one fraction? Yes. Can I go from two to one rational expression? Yes, because the denominators are the same. Now, though, keep in mind though, I'm, I am using what operation here? Subtraction. So I'm going to need that parentheses. So my denominator is going to be four x squared plus seven x minus two. Okay, the numerator I'm going to get. 4x squared minus x. Now I'm going to subtract. No, notice I'm bringing on the subtraction symbol. But I'm subtracting all of this. So I need to put all that in what? Parentheses. Now let's get rid of parentheses. So I can distribute that negative 1 through there. So when I do that, I'm going to get in the numerator, I'm going to get 4x squared minus x. Now tell me what the others will be. Minus 3x squared, good. And what else? Minus 6x. Because remember, you're distributing the negative 1. You can think of this as a negative 1. Negative 1 times 3x squared is a negative 3x squared. Negative 1 times a positive 6x is a negative 6x. All over that denominator. All right. Now, what's the next step, though? Well, before, now, before you factor, what do you need to do in the numerator? Combine like terms. So what's 4x squared minus 3x squared? x squared. What's a negative x and a negative 6x? Negative 7x, right? All over 4x squared plus 7x minus 2. All right, now remember, don't leave your answer like this because remember, you want to simplify as much as possible. So what else I've got to do? Factor to see if I can reduce anything. How do you factor that numerator? X times X minus 7? How do you factor the denominator? Yeah, I don't think 2 is not going to work here. So a 2X and 2X is not going to work. It's going to have to be 4X and X. Now make sure you see why 2X and 2X don't work, because watch, real quickly, see the C. 2X, I'm going to just go ahead and write it. 2X and 2X, right? But then the last term is 2. So the only factors you can use is what? 2 and, and 1. And no matter where I put that 2, what can I do to each one of those? Factor out a 2. Could I factor out a 2 from the beginning? No. So it can't be 2x and 2x. So it has to be what? 4x and x. Now, tell me where you remember the, last, the last factors would have to be 2 and 1. So tell me where the 2 has to go with this one. It can't go here because that means you can factor out a what? A 2. So that's 2. That's 1. The last sign is negative. So these signs in here are different. So it's going to have to be 4x uh, minus 1 and then, and then x what? Plus 2. And you can check it. What's the outer? 8x. What's the inner? Negative 1x. When I combine them, I get a positive 7x. And then negative 1 times a positive 2 is a negative 2. But can I reduce anything? No. no. So there's your answer. Okay? Alright, so 